Welcome back to another classic game room strategic hyper instructional tactics review of Earth Defense Force 4.1 on the PlayStation 4. This is Mission 3, Winged War Goddess, being played on Inferno. Watch those bugs fly. That's right. That's what happens when you use the plasma launcher, which is quite powerful, as I said in the earlier missions, in the earlier videos of previous missions. Don't blow yourself up. It's, it's easy to do. So, whether you're playing on Inferno or any level, really, just get rid of as many bugs as possible from a distance. So they don't have time to eat your brains and feet and everything in between. Playing as the wing diver here. I'll probably cover these missions as the infantry as well at some point. They're slightly different when you play as the wing diver. She's more delicate and fragile. She smells way better. Than the sweaty infantry dude. So I'm told. We're talking about all this VR stuff, right? For the new PlayStation 4 whatever. Have they brought up Smell-O-Vision yet? Hold them off until then. I mean, that would be interesting. I'm just throwing it out there. How can you really experience Bioshock, for example, without Smell-O-Vision? Anyway. This is a pretty easy mission, like most of the earlier ones. It's here to get you into the game. And they introduce the wing divers in the storyline here. Through, throughout the shouting and screaming, the wing divers show up. I think one of them goes missing, and then, then you'll save her in one of, the next, uh, one of the next missions. Which is actually kind of a boring one compared to this. But this one's not bad. Starting the game out, you're going to want to play it on uh, you know easy or normal. It's really not all that different from the first two missions, to be perfectly honest. They just uh, throw a few more enemies at you, but... You know, this one's actually probably easier than the uh, the first one, because the first one you get swarmed, or you can get swarmed. Uh, and this one, you have, like, the, I think these one or two waves here at the beginning. Pick them off from a distance. Not, it shouldn't be that hard. They're not that big. The groups themselves aren't that big. And then, at the end, there's a much larger group that attacks you from... I don't know what, the west or something? Whatever direction. The left. They attack you from the left. I'm, I'm pointing left like you can see me pointing left. But trust me, I'm pointing left with my thumb. So there's really not a whole lot you have to worry about in this one. Just kill everything from a distance. Enjoy the storyline. Enjoy the fact that you're playing Earth Defense Force. 4.1. Really one of the greatest games in existence. This whole series is, is terrific. Try to blow up as many buildings as you can just for fun. And of course, pick up armor. Because the more armor that you pick up, the stronger that you become. Or at least the more damage that you can withstand. So, you notice on the radar screen there in the top right, there's one ant left. One ant usually poses very little threat. So, that's why I can just run around, pick up some armor, and, and then I'll get around to blowing it up. Oh, oh no, there's two ants. Look at that, there's two ants. It's nice to go into missions with at least one weapon that can take down buildings. So none of those pesky ants can hide behind them. And then another weapon which is good for mowing things down. Okay, look on the radar now. There's a bigger group of alien ant things in the distance. And we're just, we are, we are literally going to repeat the exact same thing. Watch the bugs fly into the sky though. That's so much fun. I love just seeing them get launched into the air. <laughs> <laughs> that never gets old. Just take him out with something with a uh, powerful weapon. And uh, at some point here during these strategic hyper instructional tactics reviews, I will have to step it back from Inferno. Um, the first, like, five missions or so are really not that difficult. But, but after that, it does start to get insane. And uh, the Wing Diver... She's great in, in the wide open levels, and, and at some point I really need to cover the infantry to show you the differences between these two characters. Um, now she's pretty powerful, level, uh, well she's up to 679 health points by now, 
for uh, this for this video. And and to keep in mind, by the way, when you pick up health or when you pick up armor as the wing diver, it's not a one to one armor pack to um, number increase. I forget how many you have to collect to actually increase it, but she's much harder to level up in terms of armor than the uh, infantry is. You really need to fly around and and collect a lot of armor, but as a general rule, you don't want you, you just don't want to get her surrounded by enemies. She just can't take as much damage as the infantry, and she doesn't have quite the same variety of weapons. Like her, she doesn't have um, like all those ridiculous machine guns and stuff that the infantry has and shotguns. Okay, here we go. Now, now you can see there's a much larger wave of enemies, but they're pretty well spread out in the distance. So if you're playing as wing diver, just fly up into the air and just take them out. Uh, you really shouldn't have any trouble being surrounded in this in this mission. Uh, where the wing diver and the infantry differ, where I was getting to earlier, or what I was getting at earlier, is when you start getting into some of the tunnel missions. Because uh, the infantry can go in there with machine guns and shotguns. He generally has more health, and he's, he uh, can take more damage, especially when the ants and the spiders and stuff start shooting at you. Uh, we we're playing one of the earlier missions here where nothing is shooting at you yet. And that, that's a big difference. That's part of the reason Inferno gets to be just absurdly hard. Is because you take a lot of damage when the Inferno insects start shooting at you. And those spiders, are you're dead instantly with the spiders. So there's nothing you can do. you got to kill them fast. So the Wing Diver is not great for the tunnel missions. She, obviously you're going to want something like the infantry for them but if you want to complete all of the missions in the game uh, you're gonna have to go through some tunnels as the wing diver so health is good good weapons are more important though just hanging out up here on top of a building remember as infantry you cannot do this you cannot climb buildings or fly to the top of buildings and just pick off enemies uh, as Wing Diver, you can easily do this. And do you see there's a bunch of green things on the ground? The green things are your pickups. They could be armor. They could be um, health. And sometimes I say health when I mean armor. Uh, but the health obviously regenerates your uh, your health or your armor during a mission. And uh, new weapons. And that's r what you really want to pay attention to when playing as Inferno. And, uh, or the harder difficulties. When you start playing Earth Defense Force, you're really weak. You have very lousy, You have really lousy weapons. Try to play something harder as soon as possible to get some better weapons. It'll make your experience playing the game all that much more fun. That's why I, that's why I recommended level 2 as a good level to go and uh, farm weapons on. Or mine, I forget what, which, which, whichever one you guys call it. Mining, farming, collecting, whatever. Mission cleared. This one's pretty easy. Uh, the next one is also not too bad. Get your CGR shirts and glassware at ClassicGameRoom.com Classic Game Room is brought to you by Magnum Skywolf CGR is supported by fans on Patreon. Thank you.